If you're looking for another easy Bargello design, then variable zigzag is another good choice. Today, I'll show you how to do that. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. If you're new to Bargello embroidery, you can check out my other videos, which explain what Bargello is and help you get started with stitching. But today I'm going to show you another really easy Bargello embroidery stitch. And this one is called variable zigzag. So as you can see, this is just basic zigzag stitches, but the stitches are different lengths. And this gives us a totally different look. This sample uses a gradient of shades of the same color, so we can see it's kind of subtle looking. In the sample I'm gonna be stitching, I'm gonna be using four different colors, and that'll give us a totally different look. So as always when you're stitching, you can experiment and play with your own color combinations and find out what you like the best. My sample is gonna be stitched on plastic canvas with worsted weight yarn, but of course you can use other fabric and thread combinations. So be sure to check the link for more details about that. So let's get started stitching. I'm going to begin by stitching one base row and this is going to serve as a reference for all the other rows. So I count to find the center point on my plastic canvas square and then I'm going to begin stitching little straight stitches that go over one square. And so I'm stitching these stitches five steps down and then I'm going to stitch in five steps up. So each stitch starts one hole above or below the stitch beside it. Because this is my base row and I want to align it with the middle of the square, I'm starting in the middle and using half my thread to stitch out to one side. When I get to that side, then I will finish off the end of my thread, trim that, and then I'll come back and thread the other end of my yarn, and then I will stitch out to the other side from the middle. This is an easy way to ensure that my stitch line is centered between the right and left sides of the piece. I turn the side over just to make it easier for me to stitch because I'm right-handed. But if you were left-handed, it might be easier for you to stitch in the opposite direction. Once I get over to the other end of the piece, I will just double check to make sure that I followed the pattern properly. And then I will weave in the end of my thread and cut it off. For my next row, I just start at the left hand side because I'm following my base row, so I don't need to worry about centering. So I'm using a waist knot for this row, but I put the waist knot in such a way that the end of the thread is actually lined up to be underneath the stitches that I am stitching. So this will save me time from having to come back and weave the end in after because I'm weaving it in as I'm stitching. These stitches, you'll notice, are longer than the base row. They go over three holes. When I get to the waist knot, I will trim it off and then just make sure that the end of the tail is on the wrong side of the piece. You can see that the end of the thread was woven in as I was stitching. So I'll just continue along and stitch this whole row in the same way. When I get to the end of the row, then I'll just weave in the end of the thread and cut it off. The next rows are going to be stitched in the same way, following along the zigzag pattern that has been set, but the rows are going to be uh, stitches of different heights. So here I'm adding a red row that is over one hole of the canvas. So this row is the same size as the white row. Next I'm adding a blue row 
This row is the same size as the green one and it's stitched in the same way. You can see how different this simple pattern looks based on your color choices. So have fun playing with your options and deciding what you like the best. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.